We'll first start with the easiest one, which is also one of the most impressive sounding ones, and it's the buzz roll, it's this. Now you'll notice I'm, I'm holding the sticks in a, in a German open German grip. To get this started, I usually encourage people to go to a French grip, but like a pretend French grip, not a real French grip, just holding the sticks with your thumb and index finger in each hand like this. Extremely relaxed. And what you want to do is first play on the outer edge of the drum, about two or three centimeters in from the, in, in from the rim. And you want to let the stick bounce by just doing this mo movement like this. I'm just letting it bounce. I'm not shaking, it's, it's just bouncing. Now, do this movement with your arm. Don't create an arc because then you're going to put too much energy into the drumstick. Just. It's like doing this. Watch my thumb. I'll take my thumb away. But, but don't do that. Leave your thumb on it, but very lightly. Once you've got that, try your left stick. Keep your sticks fairly parallel with the drum. You don't want to be like this. Uh, reasonably parallel with it. Um, and then once you've got that, let them overlap. So as the right hand's about the finish, bring it in your left hand and vice versa. Once you've got that, what we have to do, we need to put a bit more energy into this drumstick by compressing it a bit with the thumb. So I'm gonna, instead of getting this sound, I get this sound. By pushing in with the thumb, if I keep pushing, I'll get this. I don't want that. You push, then release the pressure as it is now, very relaxed. Then try your left stick. And you want them to overlap. Once you've got that, you just shorten it by taking the stick away from the drum earlier than it really wants to come away from the drum. Now this roll here is really only this fast. It's not fast, just that I'm buzzing all those notes. You could do it with one stick. Anyway, so you could do it with one stick or so. Which we'll look at in a sec. Okay, so um, with this, once you've got this going, which will take a little bit of practice, you need to then turn your sticks back to a German grip with, with your palms facing down and ever so lightly put your fingers back on the stick just so they don't interfere with the bounce of the stick. Otherwise, they'll absorb the energy and they'll, they'll do that. Thing is, you want to leave your fingers there rather than when you're doing this, sort of turning your hand upside down. So you'll end up with this. Now, this buzz roll... I'm opening the buzz roll up because the buzz roll is called several things. The buzz roll, the press roll, and the name I like, the closed roll, because it actually becomes what most drummers call the double stroke roll or the long roll. And the other name for this is the open roll, which is this. Okay, now the... Um, Buzz roll, you know what to do with that. Now with the open roll, 